Capac? Uh. Um. Where are you? What happened? Where did you come down? I don't know, it's really dark. Did you have the same malfunction in your drop pod? Everything's red and flashy. Yeah. It, I don't know what any of this means. Flush, trace on, monitor, split, MIPS, config, pass. Root, dereg. Yeah, it, it's weird. And scatter, recycle? Well, I can't see anything. I don't know if it's safe to get out. I can see a repair depot. Uh, it's about... It's just under 8... 8k's out. Where are you oh, though? Yeah. Where? How far are you from it? Can you see it? I can see it. It says 6.6. .6. Right, so you're closer to it than me. Um, Alright, have I'm you gonna... got a... Hold on. I got some emergency supplies. Yeah, I was about to say, do you have any tools? Um, uh, we got our mission report stuff. as well, remember? The Theta Vorash system was the property of the former Volat dictatorship. After a series of hard-fought rebellions, the dictatorship has now crumbled and left this sector in ruin and decay as the new freehold of systems attempt the arduous journey of growth and rebuilding. This is very expositional for a mission report. <laughs> Records secretly recovered at great cost from the former mil capital's military archives suggest that hidden somewhere within the system are forgotten research bases with prototype technology that could speed up progress in the freehold. Ah, uh, we've got to get some cool tech all right i'm getting it oh okay it's not as dark outside as it was in inside yeah it's uh i see an can you see a splitsy's pod the repair depot and i see an unknown signal but i don't see any pods okay let me just increase the broadcast radius i'm not sure who else is here so i don't want to broadcast any further than i have to well can you see it now uh Oh. How about now? Oh, hold on. Yep, okay. I see it. Okay. I thought I saw something red which, for a second. Which direction am I in from you? Uh, you are... Uh, oh, it's hard to see. Oh, I see a evaporator station. Oh, no, it's gone. <laughs> um, focus. Please focus. Uh, you are north-northwest from me. Okay, so I want to head south-southeast. All right. Oh no, my shoot, my shoot popped. My shoot popped. That's not good. Wait, are you bringing a whole pod over here? Yeah. It's still actually functioning? It seems to sort of be. I'm not it's... sure I'd trust mine as far as I could throw it. Well, apparently... Oh, you're on the other side of this hill. This is really awkward with this parachute that does not want to close. Yeah. I'll get my welder, get my gun in case I run into any monsters. I'm just, I'm just hovering along with this massive parachute trailing along behind me. You should be able to see me. Oh, uh, can see the Wilson claim? Yeah, it's popped up a couple of times. Hmm. Maybe their radar, radio's on the blink. Oh, I think I can spot you. Can you see yep, me? Yep, yep, I see you. You just come over the <laughs> you ridge. You see my chute? <laughs> oh, yep, now I can see it. Um, between us, we should be able to make something that's a little bit more controllable, assuming that uh, our pods aren't just completely a mess. Um, what, like a little rover or something? Um, maybe? Eh. Eh. Oops. 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 Ow. Oops. Whoa. Ah. Oops. Well, now you're rolling away. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I think. Yeah. There we go. All right, come back. I think. I think we. I think we fly this to the. Let's fly to the repair station. We'll. Fly in quotation marks. Yeah. Just don't do what I did. Turn off your parachute first. I've already. I've taken the chutes out. Well, turn it, turn it off as well so that they don't do the thing. Um, you'll need to make sure you turn your thrusters on. Uh, thrusters. 
Yes. <laughs> Thrusters on. Landing gear disengaged. Whoa. Yep. Parachute just opened. Whoa. I told you to turn it off. I took the chutes out. <laughs> Clearly, some of them got back. That doesn't make sense. What? I'm still holding them. Yeah, there's clearly... There was another canvas in there. Just turn off the chute. Just to be safe. Parachute off. Alright. Alright, follow me. Let's stay close to the ground, just in case. Because um, someone was saying something about something near the rubbish pile. Oh. And I'm wondering if that's us. My landing gear's going on goofy. <laughs> it was one locked and the rest unlocked. Yeah. Then it was switching. Yeah, that's uh -oh. not uh -oh. I mean, you uh -oh. do have computer what? glitches everywhere. Uh, I don't think my gyro's on. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> gyroscope. No, gyroscope is on. Oh Why dear. have I got no control? Help! <laughs> I'm following. I'm sailing off into the distance. <laughs> I can see that. <laughs> um. Oh. <laughs> what? What's Can happening? Jeez, you're going so fast. Okay, it had some kind of override on it. Oh, you back? Okay. Are you in control yep, again? Yep, I got control. I'm okay. trying to slow down. I'm out over the June Sea now. Yeah, I can see that. That's quite the flare you did to slow down. Yep. Alright, I've got it under control. I'm headed towards the repair depot. Alright. Lose Probably altitude. Gonna need we, it people after can see you for ages. No, your silhouette's standing out a lot. Uh, is that a hostile in front of us? I don't know. In between us and the destination? I see a spin out beacon. Yeah. Uh, it's. To the east of the repair depot. Well, should I land and uh, scout it out on foot? Maybe we should. Maybe we should. Um, do you want to land behind this dune? I'm trying. Oh no! Ah, I'm already. Yeah. What's happening? I'm already here. <laughs> Too late. Well, there will be no scouting. It looks on. like some kind of buggy. Okay. Is it active? Or has someone just left it there? I don't know. It doesn't look like it's moving. Something happened here. Hey, there's another one of these drop pods. Okay. Oh, it doesn't look like it's in very good condition. Oh. It's yours? <laughs> yep, I'm okay. <laughs> I touched down. Great. It was a little rough, but... Oh, someone's flying overhead. A broken bear. Pretty far away, though. Is that Maybe if we keep little... quiet, it won't bother us. Is that a little rover thing? Oh. Okay, it doesn't look like there's any survivors from this drop. Um... I've got... Hello? Anybody? No, it's nothing in this one. Nope. Just a wheel and two cockpits. And we got this fella over here. Approach with caution. Red means danger. Whoa! Is that you? <laughs> How rude. <laughs> Trigger discipline. <laughs> Didn't they teach you anything? Well, I mean, it's to frighten the person that might have been in there if there was a person in there. Then they'd know not to shoot you. Well, there's a couple of computers. Cargo container, but no survivors. Okay, 
Anything in there? Uh. Ugh. There's there's something that is apparently organic in the cockpit, and uh, someone's leftover cosmic coffee. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Mm. That sounds more like a splitsy kind of thing. Didn't see what was in the medium cargo container. I couldn't see it in the control panel. Oh, you mean there could be treasure? Uh, there's... Yeah, there's about a ton of scrap in it. That's oh. it. Should we well, check out the repair depot? Not really treasure. No, not really. Uh, I don't see any sign of movement. I really hope those turrets aren't... <laughs> hostile. I mean, it's not all exploded. It's very rusty, though. There are some data pads around the place. Yeah. This thing even has an engine running. It's... Well, someone must have been here recently then. Attention to all military command due to the overwhelming setbacks from Reb Grand Leader. What? I think I think this LCD's cut off. Let's see if we can get in and see what it says. Ah! Oh. Due to the overwhelming setbacks from rebel forces, Grand Leader for life, Axelius the First, has decided to enact the Technophage Protocol. Oh dear. That doesn't sound good. I mean unless it's making technology into food. Um, it's like, I don't want to eat a crane. But what about using technology to make more food? Uh, Secure all resources and have personnel switch to analog systems. You'll be contacted when it is time to reboot systems. Glory unto Hiss. Hiss? Yeah, that's what it says. Look. I'm not making it up. It's in the workshop. It says that. Oh, look at all this stuff. Uh, apparently exhaust gases can be deadly. True. Hey, there's a gun in here. Have you got a gun? Uh, I've got a... I do. Do you not? Uh, I do. Is it a different gun? I'll there's some different... girders over there, too. Yep. Uh, I guess... Hold on, did you go through here? No. Uh, that appears to be right. the same message I read before. Hey, okay. uh, discovered the facilities. It's an offline ATM. Oh. What? We're in the kitchen, but there's nothing here. All the food's gone. Typical. Mission Journal Day 27 To any of my fellow agents that may find this, I've managed to locate one of the many rumoured military bases here on Theta Vorash 3. Sadly, as you can see, it was only a small, living out a small listing outpost with an attached garage. It's been pillaged pretty hard, but for now I've set it up as a base of operations. I don't trust this big Neville guy, but I don't see any other chance to get those codes for that underground hangar location. I'm sure he didn't like me prying that little detail out of his men. I know it's going to be a trap, but I don't care to lure... I don't dare lure them back to the camp until I can at least get its defences online. If you find oh. this, I've probably been double-crossed by the scabs. Watch your back. Defense of command codes. Oh? Well, you, and do you want to hold them? Well, it's got a GPS. Okay. You grab that, and um, I guess we need a vehicle. Well, we could see if that crane's working. 
Uh, strike down an underground base. From the data he's managed to collect, a local militia may have the codes or partial codes. Old convoy site. Create GPS marker. Um. Here you go, I'm transmitting the coordinates to you. Okay. How far away is that? 6Ks. That's well, not too far. Oh, there's another pod here. A bit beaten up. Uh. Yeah, this thing looks like it's operational. It does, doesn't it? Uh, let's check it out. I'm gonna go with semi-operational. <laughs> uh, I don't think it's operational anymore. I mean, the crane's still moving. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, moving is one way to put it. Is that? I feel like that was a booby trap. Oh well, that would be a very rude thing to do. Oh man. This doesn't seem salvageable. I feel like flying is a problem here, so... Do we... Do we have enough parts that you think we can put together some sort of a vehicle? Uh, I'm going to bring my pod in to this area. Do you want to bring yours in and we'll just take a bit of an inventory of the parts and see if we can come up with something? I've got two displays. Can we make a rover with two displays? Sure. Of course. Why not? I found them um, in a locker. Actually, Capac, how confident are you in your ability to fly your thing? Uh, more confident if I put the dampeners on. Uh, do you want to try and lift this up and carry it in there? Uh, I guess I could. And I'll grab the spin-out beacon. No! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Something blew up. I don't know what it was. No, why did... Wait, is my landing gear damaged? Oh, something bad is happening! Come what? back! Oh dear. Uh... Um... So this might have been a bad idea. Yeah, I don't think this is working. Yeah, I think we're just gonna have to hoof it back and forth and grab the bits we need. Uh, gear is working. Hmm. All right. I swear by my pretty rainbow grinder, I will end you. Well, one should always keep to one's word. I don't have a pretty rain rain rainbow rainbow rainbow. Uh, no rainbow. Back. Uh, so. This crane has two fully charged batteries. I think that's probably Ooh. our starting point here. What the? Why do you no know lock? It gets all squirrely when it gets real close, doesn't it? You having as good a time as I did? What the? No, no. What? What? Ah. 
Come back, just bring your pot in here. Just bring your pot in here. It was a bad idea. Let's not use lose yours as well. Inventory. Yeah. You could have warned me you were landing. Or crashing. Um, when I land, I'll tell you that it's happening. Is that... So you crashed? Yeah, I think I killed a couple of my landing gears. I think everything else is alright, though. As long as the survival kit's intact, because mine isn't. Uh, alright, how are we going to get that stuff out of this hole? Um, I have some ideas, but it just involves us cleaning up the mess first. Because we need space. I'm using one of the cargo, like the these little freight containers over here as storage for the moment. Uh, well, should I, like, grind down this busted up uh, drop pod in the garage here? Um, no, help me clean up this mess, and we'll just take what we need from here. I'm kind of inclined to leave as few signs we've been somewhere as possible. Uh, like big holes in the ground? Yeah, like that. That sort of stuff. Power supply. Uh, correct codes on the garage. Take over the guns. Uh, huh. Well, <clears throat> that's of uh, less value now that the whole thing's exploded. Uh, where are we storing everything? I'm using one of the freight containers in the back of the hangar. Uh, these ones. It's full now. Wait, why don't you just use the container on this Because it doesn't... It, it's not a container, it's a survival kit. Oh. But it's got a container. Does it? Doesn't it? No, it's got an O2H2 gen. Well, I don't know. Um, so what I was hoping we might be able to do uh, was build a ramp. Build a ramp. Uh-huh. Uh, out of the hole. And then push the thing up it. Okay. Uh, we might need to move them a bit. Can we, can we push them? Yeah. That, see where I put the ramp? Oh, I was going to put a double ramp on this side. Oh, that's smart. That's smart. Good idea. Uh, why don't we put the, slow, the gentler slope... We go. Uh, hopefully, I didn't push that too far against the edge. We can't get it out. Uh, can you go stand? Actually, can you try and push it out with me? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. What the? <laughs> you being on top is not helping. Um. Indeed. Uh. Mm. Oh. Oh. We kind of need to push it sideways. This is not the good. Uh, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Uh, oh, careful, careful. You trying to rotate it? Yeah. Hang on, can we... All right, let's push together. Hmm. Just doesn't want to go, does it? Uh, okay. So, oh, no. Hmm. We really need that crane. Yep. <laughs> uh, I have an idea. I have an idea. Oops.
Gah! Gah! Whoa! What the? Why are the... Why are all the guns shooting? Where, where's... Why is everything shooting? I don't know. Go... Ah! Can you control the guns at all? Uh... This one shouldn't have any ammo in it. I've turned them all off. Oh, what did we lose now? I think they were shooting the stuff outside the walls. Uh, and the thing in the garage. Arr. Why is everything around us exploding? Right. I'll go around and I'll get all the ammo out of the guns. I've turned them all off as well. This doesn't explode when I do this. Please don't explode me again. Well, what do you think of my makeshift crane? <laughs> it should allow us to get this thing out of the hole, right? Uh, sure. Prepare for fireworks. Display Hooray, beginning fireworks. potentially <laughs> shortly. Okay. Alright, I've got all the ammo out. Lifted the batteries up, but I don't know if it's high enough. Let's see if the rotor can move this around. Don't explode. Yeah. Basic crane worked. Okay, let's just fill in this hole so more stuff doesn't fall in. Oh, I'm bringing you a present. Why do I feel like I'm going to have mixed feelings about this present? That's a good present. Is it though? Found another battery. Oh. Oh yeah. Uh. Can you make those weld pad things? Uh. Oh. Uh. Can we, do we have enough parts for one? Weld. Weld pad. Uh got the pass for one. Computer, steel plate, and construction. Let me see what I got. Oh, apparently I've got the parts for both. Alright, come back. This is going to be require teamwork. Computer, come back. steel Over here. plate. I've done it. I've built it. Yeah, yeah, but we'll need more, no okay. doubt. Fair enough. Uh, but now we got to push these together. There we go. Oh, I mean, it's mismatched. upside down. <laughs> we'll have to undo it and redo it. Uh, there we go. What is that thing? That's a survival kit. Oh, it's sideways. Yeah. Uh, I suppose that that might not be so bad. Wait. 
Why did you put a piston on this side but not on the other side? Because I only needed... I was only building this to get it out of the hole. We could have used it to lift it up. Oh, yeah, actually. I but realize that now. It, it's, is it still being held by the crane? No. If we grab it with the crane, we could dig it... We could well uh, grind up the box underneath it. Well, I thought I'd rebuild the crane like you were suggesting and actually make this good. Oh, well, fine. Do that then. <laughs> I will then. I'll just vacuum up all this scrap metal, I guess. Um, maybe try and get a cargo container on the end of this, um, survival kit. Are there any medium, is there a medium cargo, or could we use that connector for storage? Uh, probably. Because I don't know about you, but my G menu is missing stuff. I think my suit's, um, blueprints are kind of balked. Uh, okay, connector. I just want somewhere to dump my stuff. I got too much inventory and I can't. Um, uh, two tubes, five motors. Let me see. Uh, there's probably stuff in these shelves as well. Remember? Um. There we go. Connectors built. So I guess we're gonna try and make some sort of truck device. Ah, uh, the infamous truck device. Um, I'm, I'm imagining perhaps something with a crane would be useful. <laughs> so we can scavenge the rest of the stuff we need. Thoughts? Sure. Yeah. I'll see if this crane design actually works, and if it does, then we can replicate it. Energy low. I wonder what's in these drum barrels. Drums? Uh. Wow, silence from you at that. What? I'm trying to read. Delivery information from... Sol slash Mars. Customs approved. Content water and parts. It's just part water. Part water, part what? Uh, man. Where water? You're asking me for directions where water? Yep. That seems a mistake. Oh, I found the floodlights. Delightful. I can see. Right, is this contraption working? Uh, how do you find? How do you define working? Can it lift up this thing so I can put wheels on it? I don't know. It's locked to that thing now. So there's that. Yeah, lift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patience, patience, patience. No, hurry up and press the crane go button. Now the crane needs extra go juice. There we go. Oh. Okie dokie. That looks all right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Now we slap on some good old wheels. Hang on. No, we don't. Uh, Is that the right way up? Nope. That's no. exactly the wrong way up. <laughs> Dang it. Ooh. Okay, that's almost the right way up. Okay, that's, good. that's it. Just needs a bit more angular angle. 
Or angular well, angle. Yep. How's that? Perfect. Yeah, I'd say that's a decent start. I think we made a mistake merging our um, batteries onto the survival kit because now we can't pipe easily to it, but, you know, other than that. Yeah, we can pipe off the sides of the connector. Yeah, that's true. We may have to. I'm sure... <laughs> I'm sure with our crash... I was about to say our track record, but then I decided to say our crash record. Uh, we may find it um, feasible to do things. Uh, there are batteries on these space capsules too, though. That's a good point. Um, do we need those yet? I do not know. Guess it depends how rare we're expecting batteries Energy to be. Hmm. I guess. I mean, they seem pretty common so far, but remember that time on Mars? Yep. Well, let's see if anything of this is left after it got shot to pieces. Ooh. Found that coffee. Yay. Uh, this thing does have a medium cargo container on it, too. Oh, which one does? And an engine. The, uh... The... Gavenger... One. Well, we could try and get some sort of crane on this, although it's... I've kind of probably made it too small for that. Uh, alright. I'm gonna drop this thing now. Watch your head, Gavak. Ah! Help! <laughs> really? Ah, good. I guess. I didn't know what you were doing. I did say watch your head, and then you walked straight into the path of the thing I was dropping. I didn't think you were going to drop a truck on me. To be fair, I didn't drop it on you, I dropped it around you. They're two very different things. As with all good cooperative ventures, this one began with a crash, an explosion, an almost squish, and putting wheels on something that didn't have them before. Join us next week as we continue to unravel the mysteries laid out before us that we genuinely don't know. So there's all that and plenty more to come, and we will see you then. Catch you next time, everybody!